Hey guys, Suryu here with another video for Blender. In this one, we're gonna be talking about an add on that caught my eye recently, and it's called Curve Array Pro Plus Magic Curve. I call it Magic Curve because the name is way too long for me by Job Week, and this add on is really cool. So, check this out. Now, I'm going to grab a plane and I'm gonna show you something really awesome. I'm gonna grab this plane, grab this edge, go to side view, and just press E to extrude it a few times, right? And then I'm going to select everything in edit mode and uh, go to uh, select boundary loops, right click and crease this thing and subdivide it and shade smooth. All right, now let me show you how this add-on works. So I'm going to turn it on here, right, Curve Ray Pro and you got magic curve in here. So let's uh, let's apply this thing, okay? So control A and apply visual to mesh. Now I got this subdivided mesh. I'm gonna grab this loop in the middle, but you can grab any loop really. And I'm gonna go to vert mode, and that's important now. You need to hold shift and deselect and select this last point here. Um, so that's how you need to do it. And you need to click on the curve from the loop, which will basically, create a curve from this loop okay but it's a very special curve so you cannot just go to for example hard ops and you know make a curve in hard ops with uh, with control clicking on curve extract it will not work because it's a different type of curve okay it's a curve actually specifically made for this add-on so watch this now i'm going to click on this curve here right and i'm going to stash it okay store selected curve now i'm gonna grab a cylinder and move it somewhere here it doesn't matter where you put it and i'm going to you know create a cone like this and grab that and you know i don't know just uh, extrude something here just something funny it doesn't matter what it is um just let's make scale this a little bit there you go and sharpen okay cool make it smaller Control a and apply scale right i'm going to click on this object and store the object okay so store selected object right now with the object stored and the curve stored i can click on make it and it will move at the instance of this object in you know to here and by instance i mean i can still you know by delete uh, editing one i can edit the other one so it's an instance right so one more time make it and then you can see that there is going to be a menu in the bottom which you can now adjust the settings of this curve now for example if i'm going to start adding count in here you will see something really interesting happening because of this option filled by count selected it will literally fill this whole length of this curve perfectly okay with uh, the you know additional object which is just brilliant then in addition to all this watch this you can change the offset right from each side okay then you can slide this thing all right off to the space it's just fantastic right so let's just reset all these to zero okay you can twist them on an axis right so for example if i wanted to twist them a bit to the left i can just press minus y you can just align them to z whatever the hell you want now the only caveat of this add-on is that uh, this is not technically an array so i can just you know freely move these buggers like this right and to delete them you actually need to go to the uh to the scene collection right click and on this uh instance of cylinders and delete care key so that's how you get rid of this array now this author of the add-on job week is working on this all the time i received like three freaking updates within the you know few days so it's really working on it very hard and it's introducing new features has new lots of cool new ideas i gave him a few ideas as well so you know this one has been developed very um very intensely and i think has a great future so um i really think you guys should look into this another fantastic thing that this add-on can do is to follow a distorted curve but it follows in a very specific way. So watch this. If I select this curve, and by the way, you can't do it in Blender. There's no way. There's no way you can do it in vanilla. So um, you can just uh, press O for uh, um, proportional editing. Press R, and we're going to simply distort this guy, right? Like this, right? And the more perceptive of you probably uh, see what's coming. But I'm going to grab this curve and, you know, stash a new one. So create the curve, select the curve, stash the curve. This object is already stored, so I don't have to worry about it. And simply make it. And then, 
observe the magic happen. Now, the best part about this thing is, guess what? It doesn't get distorted. Look at this. This object doesn't get distorted. Normally, with a radial array, object get distorted. Now, there are a few more settings in this add-on that are quite interesting. So, for example, uh, let me just delete this, right? Grab this one, make new. Now, the only caveat of this one is you can't really edit it after this window is closed, which is a little bit disappointing, but I know that Jobic is working on this to actually make it possible. So let's see how things unfold. But, you know, like I said, this add-on is in constant development at the moment. So new things are coming and they're coming quite fast. So you should be watching this. Now you can align rotation, but you can just you know disable it in here. You can actually move this object in by simply considering the object size, which means it will basically fit the whole object, okay, from the start of the object to lining two. See what I mean? Then, of course, if you, uh, let's just delete it, right? So delete Kerky and let's move the origin point down to the face. So I'm going to select the face, move the cursor to face, and move the origin to uh, to the bottom face, and then we're gonna do the same thing. So make it boom, and now you see it's aligned actually to the surface. So um, you can do a lot of a lot of things very easily with this add-on. And it, like I said, look at this. This this thing doesn't get distorted at all. It's just brilliant. So um, yeah, you should definitely play with this add-on, guys. Uh, you know, have a look. There are different options in here as well. You can fill it by offset. You know, you can fill it by count. You can actually uh, go free mode if you want to. So set everything yourself manually. Uh, but you know, um, like I said, more features are coming, and uh, add-on has been constantly worked on. So definitely look at this add-on, guys. It's on Blender Market right now discounted 25% but I think you guys should get it on Gumroad at full price to support the creator so go ahead and click on one of these affiliate links I have in the video description go to Gumroad get this add-on and give him a thumbs up because I think this is just genius he was actually working on I think 3d max before and you know migrated to blender and he was like why the fuck can I do this in blender so he just made his own add-on and it's just brilliant, you know. I've been waiting for something like this for a long time. I love it. So I'm looking forward to what's going to happen with this in the future. Um, I think, you know, um, it could be quite interesting when a few things going to get introduced. Like, for example, what I would like to see is this menu being added somewhere near where the mouse is. So I don't have to go down here. Also, I would like to be able to recall this menu whenever I want. So if I want to readjust this array in the future, I would like to see that too. Also, it would be cool to have more than one array stashed in here, because at the moment you can stash one object and one curve, but it would be nice to have, like for example, several of them st stashed at the same time, so you can select one and go back and readjust it. At the moment you can't do it, but I guess, you know, it's just the beginning. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the vid, guys. Uh, I think this is just fantastic, and like I said, it has a great future, so I'm looking forward to what's going to happen with this add-on in upcoming month. Thank you for watching, I'll catch you in the next video.